Hoo-hoo, everybody. I've been a naughty girl. Okay. I haven't posted a vlog in two weeks. I usually do it every week, but I said, oh, okay, I do it every two weeks. But now it's even over two weeks. It's too long. It's nearly three weeks. I believe I need the vlogs for my own accountability. What had happened in the meantime? I became 40 years old. Yeah, well, uh, it was a hard week, but let's start before I got 40. I was looking for a new job because just doing my freelancing isn't enough to earn the money for living. And I like to have money. <laughs> it feels a bit like failure that I haven't gotten to the point that I could finance myself without an additional job. But it was a pretty high goal to do this as an artist within only one year of working. So I'm not too bummed out that I didn't reach that goal. And I believe it was all right to have the goal because sometimes you have to set your goals high. Some manager and my future boss <laughs> said something about that you have to shoot high in archery, that it lands on a realistic goal. Do you get the picture somehow? So the arrow goes like this, but you have to shoot like this. I mean, I dislike the picture because I believe that the archer doesn't aim in the air. He aims at the butt. So the archer actually aims at the butt, but he knows that he has to shoot in that angle. And I believe this is a much more better interpretation of the archers doing in the metaphorical sense as well, because you have to provide more energy because the path to the goal isn't always a straight path, like for a gunshot. It's a more realistic path for a goal to invest. It's not investing more energy, but if you knew y your energy levels and you will knew that you can't do a straight path, that you have to do a curved path. And I believe for most uh, people and for most goal, it isn't even possible to have a straight path because life doesn't run in straight paths. Sorry, back to the topic at hand. So I didn't reach the goal. All right, I'm in no rush at all. Maybe I will never reach it. That's totally all right as well. I mean, no, it would be too low for me to say it's just something I would do without any financial rewards. Some of these motivational posters on social media, I would write even if uh, I had to pay money for it or something like this. I'm not this kind. So I believe money is um, a reward for me and I believe I deserve this reward for my work and I want this reward for my work. Has it been millions? No, it hasn't. <laughs> So it's okay for me to make not much money from writing, but I want to be rewarded in money as well. So it's good. Um, I'm just saying it for myself. Uh, it's totally all right if you see the thing totally different. There are people who don't even publish. They have a big list of works and they don't even want to publish them. They just write it for themselves, sometimes for themselves and their friends. And for me, that's totally all right as well. I mean, everybody should get to know what is rewarding for themselves and do it because we all deserve to be 
rewarded for good work for more do we do we deserve to be rewarded for shoddy work no i don't believe in participation trophies participation scrolls are okay so you have a reminder of the event like a friend of mine she collected the tickets from all the concerts we went to on trophies i would prefer that there is a clear distinction between uh, winners and losers because i believe that competition is something important for people and growth i prefer nice competition and friendly competition to other kinds of competition so if you have a shitty kind of competition then there's better no competition at all oh no i still was on the story for my birthday so i thought oh i end my year full-time concentration on writing and art with a bomb oh, bombing is um having not success it's those verbs are in english totally not understandable bombing is having not success killing it is having success uh, backstabbing a uh, topic what would that's oh i backstab that problem maybe backstabbing is good as well in in the context of topics what is i aoe i carpet bombed the problem that means there is a lot of collateral damage so maybe it's not good but maybe the area was filled with other minor problems and not only the big problems you bombed back to the topic for the third or fourth time so i made a big advertisement campaign for my story because i wanted to reach thousand subscribers before my 40th birthday i connected all friends family colleagues author tube colleagues and backed them all subscribe to my story on royal roads and i did this only for a few days like three or four and my subscriber count stayed the same i thought oh had no one reacted to it and i was bummed out but then some people said yes i subscribed and so there are additional people who left my story and this continued until my birthday i started with 881 or 880 around that amount and i reached 886 for my birthday in two weeks and usually i get around you know my stats i post them every week i posted them every week so around five to ten new subscribers every week and <laughs> i was below my usual amount of subscribers even with all the good meaning people and nice people and awesome friends who even activated their maps to subscribe to my story i'm really sorry for this but yeah so i was kind of bummed out on my 40th birthday it was another high goal and i didn't really thought i would reach it but i wouldn't have thought that i would fail that hard so this is a goal i bummed out about failing <laughs> not because i failed because i failed that hard yeah so my year long story is still a success even if i failed but uh, my thousand subscriber story is a failure you get a difference good so i was all bummed out because i got 40 because i've got no new subscribers um, but then my friends did a surprise party for me and i knew nothing i mean i guessed nothing only someone as oblivious as me <laughs> could have guessed nothing probably it was great we were a small group because of the plague and everything 
uh, but we had a nice time. We had great food. I've got an awesome birthday cake with two candles, one four and one zero. And I was just at, and then I stopped because I thought I can't press or blow all over the birthday cake with the plague and everything. And so I was, mm, okay. I don't wish anything. Thank you. Perfect. And the cake was delicious. Chocolately. Goodness, I post you a picture. I probably already have posted it. So birthday was nice. So I posted with the next chapter, so mm, I had my birthday, didn't happen with the thousand, but uh, maybe for Christmas, maybe for Christmas. And so one of my readers read it and said to himself probably, hey, I do, I give uh, Tran a nice birthday present and put an awesome review at Reddit and he did exactly this. The post blew up in the Lit RPG forum, so blew up in Lit RPG measurements, got a lot of upvotes, and I've got 10 to 15 new subscribers out of it. Still not a thousand, but it was exactly the right thing after those two weeks of looking at my subscribers and crying because they stagnated. So great, thank you very much. At the end of the month, I posted a Patreon exclusive chapter of Antitos to be a MMORPG and I promised it at the beginning of August and I procrastinated it like crazy. And then at the end, I thought, no, I have to keep my promises. And on the 30th August, I just sat down and wrote it down. And the editing quality was very low. But uh, thankfully, Swan Lake edited it for me. So I'm really glad that I kept my promise to my Patreons. But I won't promise a new chapter for September. <laughs> so the last thing I want to speak about is that I wanted to give something back to the community because now that I will start a job I of course thought about it what kind of activities I do less than when I worked 100% for my project. And one of this activity is offered to you. These uh, Vlogs helped me tremendously with being on schedule and reaching my goals and tracking my progress. So I want to do this Vlogs still, but I want to try to do them less than before. Like I said, on a two weeks basis, on the other things I want to, um, I have to do less than before. So I will contact uh, Robert Jones, the story detective, to say to him that I won't participate in Wordstock any longer. Um, I believe I will do a tag now and then, and I have one spotted already uh, the hometown tag from Liora Sophie because it's such a nice idea to get all the author tubers to do a tag to describe their hometowns that we've got a kind of author tube reservoir of settings and I believe it would be cute as well to include hometowns of other author humans, like in, in the books. There are just topics you can't get from documentaries. Like I visited Cuba, I was on a bus driving through Havana and I looked out of the window and saw the streets and the houses and just watched it without thinking anything. So, 
just being a tourist. <laughs> but then there was the feeling of uncanniness, of wrongness. Something wasn't right. Then I realized what it is. There weren't any shops. Like in Germany, you find a bakery if you are going through a non-residential district. And even in the residential districts, there are sometimes bakeries. It wasn't a residential district. It was a pretty big street. And we drove through this and there were no signs of any businesses at all. This is something you can't get from a documentary. This is something you can only experience and discover. The little small things. The small things are the most important facts to me. And it's one of the most important aspects of my writing as well. In part, it's an aspect of being educated because I know a lot of the big picture stuff and concerning stories. I read thousands of books so I and the classics as well. I'm very well versed in antique, okay, not very well, but I'm well enough versed in antique literature. I can't say this without boasting, but let's just leave it like this. I haven't read as much as the uh, booktubers, but I read a lot of books from a long span of time. And basically people recycle Shakespeare, recycle the Greek tragedies and comedies all over. So plot-wise there isn't much that can blow me away. I believe when was the last time I was blown away by a plot? The usual suspects. Oh, the usual suspects. Yes, <laughs> uh, this uh, movie did blow me away uh, plot-wise. But uh, the usual suspects are something like Matrix or Pulp Fiction. But I... Uh, I promise you I'm not lying or boasting any more than necessary. Okay, that was a lie. So I'm not boasting, but I predicted scenes from Pulp Fiction while watching it for the first time. So I'm very genre savvy, I'm very book savvy, so you can't impress me with plot. You can impress me with characters. You can impress me with humor and you can impress me with the small things. The interpretation of Madonna's Like a Virgin in Reservoir Dogs, it's in my mind, you know. And these are th the things I remember about books. The small nudges of awesomeness. And that is the part that is really important to me as well. And this is the part which is important in writing to me. Forget about story, forget about plot. I want to have nuggets of awesomeness in my story. Why I'm defending this idea is I had a conversation with the authors in Liza Daly's live stream. And they were more supportive of my overly lengthy 200k manuscript than I thought. But it was shining through that for themselves they prefer to stay inside the rules of the 120 to 150k long form at most. But my nuggets of awesomeness they just take a while. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm feeling less bad about my super duper lengthy lengths than before. So that's good. Thank you very much, dear AuthorTube friends and colleagues that 
conversation helped me to get over my doubts, my self-doubts about uh, the length. Not get over, get over is said too much. I have taken another step uh, forward. Shortening it is less and less an uh, option for me. Splitting still is. Now to the last thing I did. I wanted to give something back to all my awesome fellow author tubers. And so I got the idea to do a timer with the covers of their books. So on one hand, I knew I would fail. I knew I would feel horrible about the people I left unwillingly out because I forgot about them. But I thought, I just do it. And I can include them in the 15 minutes timer. It is what it is. So, good. I forgot some important persons of my clique. I mean, I left out a lot of author tubers, but if I never have heard of them, if they're not in the same streams than me, and then it's just like it is. I can't do everybody, yes. But I left out some people who I had contact with me. I feel especially bad about Sarah Schanweber because she was the first person who gave me a shout out in her channel. So to forget her, her cover, um, yeah, I feel guilty about it. Uh, sorry, Sarah, I'm really sorry. And you definitely will be in the 15 minute version. So good, let's speak about my next two weeks. I will start my new job probably at Monday the 21st. So I want to work on my buffer, my chapter buffer, that I can concentrate uh, on getting used to my job again. I have to say my new job is my old job. So I return to the company I worked before. I believe that will um, shorten the time I need for uh, finding into the work again. But of course I will need time after one year, a bit more than one year. Oh, I, well, I still wasn't finished on the activities. I won't do anymore. Oh God, I filmed for 34 minutes already. <laughs> and I wanted to do captions for this video. Dear Joey Paul, I'm sorry. Can I really do this? No, I promised it. Ah, activities I plan to shorten. So, uh, YouTube. I won't promote my animation work anymore. Of course, I will do animations for people who come to me and people I want to gift. And I like to do it to wind down from writings so you can still contact me for animations i believe my fever gig up then i cut down on my merch stuff but i will still do it for a bit because i used it for procrastinating and unfortunately you can't stop procrastinating oh sorry i can't stop procrastinating <laughs> So I will do uh, nice graphics for procrastinating, but more focused on graphics for my story. I won't have that. Oh, I could do some merch announcement. I ordered a lot of merch thanks to the birthday presents of my friends. There was a gift card for Red Bubble, so I ordered awesome things and I will show them to you in another video. Oh, maybe it will come inside my grace period. And then I want to do holidays. So I won't do the holidays directly before work because I tend to get ill on holidays. So I will do it in three or four days and then use the last uh, for a weekend and a bit more. And then I use the last few days 
to work on my buffer and prepare for regular work. I have to establish terminology for my different kind of work now. I looked at my biography and I don't know how I will say that, that I'm working part-time as a software developer and part-time as an artist. Maybe I say it just like this. Part-time software developer and part-time artist. I mean, I see software developing as an art as well. So I'm a full-time artist. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually a software consultant, so um, consulting might be an art as well, but it's more a kind of social art and I don't appreciate social arts. Oh, I appreciate them a lot when other people do them and I admire this. I like customer contact. I like it more than I thought I would like. Maybe it's a bit generic thing. So I like making my customers happy. That's a very central part of my work ethic. I like making my readers happy. I like making my animation customers happy. And I like making my software developing customers happy and make their work life easier by providing amazing functionality. So maybe I can differentiate by my target audience, you know, that I work part-time as happy maker of working people and part-time as happy maker of Freizeit people. Happy maker of working and f free time people, no. Half-time happy maker of working people and half-time... No, it's part-time. Okay. Part-time happy maker of workers and free-timers. Free-time enjoying. Okay, last topic. I want to try a different editing style, a more dynamic editing style. And I already told you about the captions, oh, we are at 43. But more dynamic editing means I will do more pew, 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 you know. I edit it to be under 20 minutes. Oh, this will be hard. Thank you a lot for watching. Thank you for accompanying me on my journey in the last year from zero to web novel hero. Uh, I didn't reach Web Novel Hero, I read, reached Web Novel Sidekick, Heroic Sidekick, who will maybe get her own series sometimes, her own spin-off as a hero like Robin from Batman. Oh, and thank you to all my Patreons, so bye-bye.